Um, hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play How to Full Boyfriend with me, Rock Paper Mario. Um, and as I said at the end of the last video, I'm going to be, like, trying to get Oko-san's, like, not-so-great ending. Um, so, like, I know, like, the last time what I did was I ended up, like, going to the gym class every day. What I'm going to try and do this time is kind of split it off, like, a little bit more. So, like, I'm just going to try and, like, even it out a little bit. So I'm just not, not like, playing as much to, to that one character as normal. So we'll see how it goes, I suppose. Yeah, of course he's having a fish again. He's a weirdo. Oh, of course he is. <laughs> Why couldn't it be Oliver Wood? <laughs> Daisy chain me. Um, the sprint. I think I did long distance the last time. I think he'd like beat you in anything though. I don't I don't see how that would be like make much difference because he'll beat you at either one, do you know? Apparently I've got potential though. Must be like those like caveman human muscles I have. Sports festival season already. Well of course I'm going to be like running around with that weirdo. It's like I've had I've had enough of these this having weirdos as boyfriends. It's like I had him, this weirdo here, then I had that other psycho. Now I'm, like, after running back to this guy again, do you know? I think, like, Sakuya has been, like, my favourite so far. Like, of the actual, like, I think, like, that relationship has been, like, the coolest one. Like, like, my character and Sakuya. <laughs> Ryoshi's upside down again. Oh, it's gonna, like, break my heart to have to, like tell Sakuya off this time because I actually because <laughs> I like him more than Oko-san why am I standing here talking to you when I could be like going in there and cracking a few skulls yeah you don't have the right to speak to Sakuya but you know for the sake of the game I'm going to side with Oko-san I suppose I could have scolded them both if I'm trying to like not play as well as I could do Giga Drill Beak. Poor Sakuya. I swear. <laughs> oh my god, like we're totally on the same wavelength. <laughs> yeah, you are a failure. <laughs> so I'm going to go to like music. Instead of like working out on the track, I'm going to give my arms a workout. Today is arm day because I'm smashing the timpani like a gorilla. <sighs> yeah, he's the fastest in all things, fastest is alienating himself from the rest of society by being such a weirdo. Yeah, it isn't swimming. You cheated. What's he doing? Oh, this is like the part where he's like. Where he's like, I don't know, eating beans off the floor. What should I do? I don't know. <laughs> Scold him this time, be like... Oh my god, are we gonna have a fight? I'm pretty sure I joined him the last time. I don't want to kill him. Oh no, is he, he's just gonna like respect me even more now. I got rival zoned. Well, that's what I want. I don't want to, like, be his lover. I want to be his rival. Though we could be, like, Daryl and Setzer and be both. I don't know. Of course I'm going to invite Oko-san. Not like, not like when I invited Shu and he was like, Why are you inviting me? And I was like, I don't know why I'm inviting you. While I'm inviting you. Yeah, I'll take you to a wonderful place. <laughs> But is there any pudding? I don't know what like this pudding is. Like no, when they're talking about pudding in this, it seems that what they're talking about is like, is like those like, it's like um, creme not creme caramel. Is that what I'm talking about? Like Joe, there's like cus like that that custard you do with caramel on the top of it. That's what they seem to be t talking about. Do you know, creme caramel is what it's called, isn't it? 
or flan is what they call it in America. Do you know, like that episode of Sabrina with like that that big with that giant flan? Because everyone likes flan. Oh great! With this, like now that I know what's like happening, I know that this is all real. That's the weirdest thing about this, about playing through this a second time, is that I know that he's not just being a weirdo. This is actually true. I don't know, pudding is invincible, whatever. <laughs> the indestructible pudding. Non- Inconceivable! <laughs> you don't understand, Harry. Okosan wants no more of this. Jeez. Oh, is that what I said the last time? Pretty sure it was, because usually like the top answer is the right one. Huh? Oh yeah, this is like another thing, like the doctor with like that weird chemical. I presume like, now that I know like about Yuya's storyline, I presume like, I don't know whether Oko-san is like the weapon that the doctor is trying, like the, the bio-weapon or whatever that the doctor is trying to develop that, that Yuya was talking about it. Um, yeah, I'll drink it, <laughs> whatever. I'll drink anything once. No, what are you doing? That is not for humans. Like, I presume that's what's happening. Like, I presume, like, um... Wisdom increased by 10. Oh my god, he could have done with that. Seeing as Oko-san has, like, so little wisdom. Oh, didn't I get this wrong the last time? Because I didn't know what it was. I don't know, like, I don't know which one, like, like if it's like that weird, like, flan thing, I presume a convenience store, I don't know. I hope they have it. Oh, I don't know, why would they have, like, what's this, I don't know, I thought that was like some, I don't know, I don't know these things. I don't buy crap like that. Oh yeah, maybe now we're going to have her, like, romantic eating beans off the floor experience. Oh my god, he's very excited. I'm not sure I like that. Oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> he's gonna jackhammer me. <laughs> Getting Eiffel Towered by the, by the by Sakuya and his brother. Getting jackhammered by Oko-san. What else is gonna happen to my poor little body? <laughs> yeah, I wish, jeez. Oko-san, are you in here? This is this like isn't this like the last like the final scene or something? There he is. There's the weirdo. He has a bag of dried beans and a canteen. Is he going hiking? What are you? What are you doing? <laughs> Cuckoo! As you can see, Oko-san is preparing to depart on a great journey. Triumphant baby! Like I'm, my, I'm doing that thing with my arm again automatically. Over spring break. Cuckoo! No, Okusan has quit school and is going on a quest. What? Okusan, you can't do that. It was a miracle for someone with a brain like yours to get into the school in the first place. You loser like you. And if you waste this chance, you'll end up a failure. Okusan will not be stopped. Triumphant Baby is going to go on a quest to seek the true pudding. Yeah, I know. I've be been there, done that, bought the t-shirt, got the pudding, and pudding rained from the sky and was like that episode of Sabrina the Teenage Wish. Wobbling flesh. Ugh. Wobbling flesh. Okosan never goes back on his word. I'll... I suppose I'll go with him. I don't know. I hope I don't accidentally get the good ending again. So you'll take me with you? Very well. Birds of a feather must flock together. Uh. Let's go! <laughs> I hope I didn't, like, accidentally get, like, the... Well, no, apparently I didn't. What a sec. Because, like, we didn't see that part with the temple. That kind of, like, went by in, in no time. I didn't even notice that there was anything different. Yeah, there it is. I didn't have that one. Until next time. See you next water time. See you next pigeon time. But yeah, look, there we have it. 
So basically that was the exact same as this one, except like this had like an, cause the Sakuya one was as well. So basically these two just had like an extra little bit tacked on at the end. So I'm, I'm wondering whether the doctors will be the same, whether it'll just be like a bit tacked on at the end or whether like it's actually a bit different cause the doctor story was like a little bit more involved, wasn't it? Let's see if like anything got opened up in the archive. Oh yeah, it did, wait a second. No. Oh wait, no, what's that one? I feel uncomfortable. Where did I come from? Where was I born? The fact that I am trapped here is the least of the mysteries plaguing my mind. I'm nervous. Whose diary is this, anyway? Okay. Pale fluorescent lights and white ceiling can't have been... Oh my god, is it actually Nagaki's diary? Is I born? Factor. So it's like Nagaki? Because he's talking about like the library. Wait a second, did I get like any other... I had that one before. Yeah, and then there's like the... Yeah, the, the subject zero zero. Subject zero zero is relative. We have chosen to let the Dove Party agent who has infiltrated the school operate freely for the time being. A number of incoming students have proven to be quite a bit possible, please soon. Okay, so they knew that Yuya was there all the time. So is this like Nagaki's like diary? That's really interesting. So is is like subject zero zero like either Nagaki or like related to Nagaki or something? I don't know. Cause they're talking about like someone dying and he died. Anyway, I guess in the next part we'll do like try and get like the shoe alternate ending. So thanks a million for watching this part. I'll see you next time and let's play Hatful Boyfriend. Bye now.